Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Rudy Banks of Banks Music, bringing you guys another maze tutorial. I've been sent a lot of questions about instruments and groups, and I've seen a lot of confusion. So hopefully this video will help you guys out. And my goal is once you finish this, you will never forget. Let's go. So when you load maze up, you're going to see four categories. One's going to be instrument properties, effects, groups, and samples. And here's the hierarchy. So basically when you create an instrument, whether it's a piano, a drum, organ, whatever it may be, you're going to record your samples. You're going to load each individual sample into a group. Now you're going to have one group or you can have multiple groups. Those groups are then fed into your instrument and that's how the hierarchy works. And then the effects control your instrument. So when you look at maze, looking from right to left, here's your sample properties. You know, here I have an MP3, but it could be a WAV file, a FLAC file, whatever it may be. And then that sample is going to be loaded into your default group. You can rename that if you have a piano group, EP, a bass drum, wherever that group is called. That's how your samples are loaded. And you can have more than one group going into your instrument. So when you save your instrument that shows up in your DAW, this is where you're going to name it. And you're going to name your vendor name there. Now I'm going to show you how to do just a, a piano as an instrument name, but I'm also going to show you how to do categories. So these are the methods, the way I break them down and hopefully to help you out. So this example, I'm breaking it down in two methods, method one and two and method one, imagine that the instrument name is piano. So you're going to have your piano samples. Every piano key is going to have a note and then you're going to have one group because you're just going to have samples across, you know, the whole group. And then that's going to be called piano, your instrument It's going to be called piano. In Maze, the only thing you have to remember in your settings, you want your group to always be on because you're not going to be toggling between groups. You're just um, toggling between instruments. And what I mean by that is first instrument is going to be piano. You're going to save your project, export it. And then you might have one called EP. You might have one called strings. So these are individual in instrument patches or presets that you can just save and export them. Then I like to get into layers, which is method two. It's a little bit more advanced, but imagine you're you know, a musician and you want a piano sound and a string sound combined. So imagine that you have separate WAV files for each instrument. So I'm going to load all my piano samples in a piano group. I'm going to name one group called piano, and then I'm going to name a second group called strings, and I'm load all my samples in that. The beauty is now I can add a button to each group and I can control it using the toggle group disable state. So when you go into maze, you'll see this option for when you add buttons and that allows me to mute. So if I just wanted to only hear the piano, I can have a button that controls the state of the strings group and it'll mute it out. The other thing is you can add a control knob and control the gain. So almost like a volume blend. So imagine that I had a volume control on piano and a volume control on strings. So if I wanted 30% strings, and 50% piano, I can blend the two using a knob. That's the beauty of using groups as layers. Now, if you were a drummer and you were creating a drum kit, say lo-fi drums, same concept. I would have a kick drum, I have snare, I could have hi-hats, I could have cymbals, toms. So having a group for each one allow me to load my kick sample I could load my snare sample, or if I had multiple snare samples, I could layer them, you know, all into that same group. The beauty of having individual groups for pads now can control different parameters like volume and pan. All right, so now let's get into categories. Okay, we just talked about having an instrument name as piano, organ, keys, and different things. So now let's just flip it and think of it as categories. So instead of saving the instrument as the piano name, I want to save it as keys. So I got a category. I'm going to save it as keys. And then the individual groups under here, think of those as types. So you got instrument categories and you have group types. So I have all my piano samples. I'm going to create that group. I have all my EP samples. I'm going to load all my samples in that group have all my road samples, I'm gonna load all my samples in that group. So this allows me to keep the category the same and allows me to toggle between the different groups. So when you load Maze up for the first time, you're gonna see a screen like this. And for our example, I just wrote the word keys. So that's the category. And normally that'll be the instrument, but that'll be the category. And then under the groups, it's gonna be piano. And then my toggle, I'll be able to go to piano EP 
So that's how it would look. Just have to remember in this methodology, using the category method, we're no longer going to be using always selected. We're going to use manually selected by users. And basically what happens is when we add our right and left buttons to go to next group or go to previous group, it allows us to change between the groups or the types. So we'll be able to have piano and EP and what have you. Now, on the other thing you have to remember that this label here was default to group list. So normally you could click on it and you'll get a drop down of the different type of groups. But now we're going to change that to selected groups. So it's only going to be visual purposes because we're going to use the arrow keys to toggle. So it's going to show us which group is selected. So for this example, when we hit the toggle buttons, we're going to see the different types of keys, piano, EP, organ, what have you, roads. To expand further, we have the category of keys. Type of keys is going to be piano and EP. So when you were going in the maze, I'm going to have one group called piano. My second group is going to be called EP. Just have to go down and change these settings here to manual select by users. And I've noticed that you have to have at least one selected. So when you load your doll up, you're going to have uh, piano is going to be your default. So as soon as you start playing, it's automatically going to work. You don't have to worry about not having any sound. So just have at least one of them selected. Further explanation, if I add a left and right button, the left button is going to control the previous um, group from list selection. And then the, the right button is going to select the next group from the list. So this is something I stumbled on that when I didn't have either group selected, when I loaded maze up in 2.95, I didn't get any sound, but I noticed there was a note here. So if you actually had said it said keys and then piano came up, but it wasn't really selected. So if you right click on the, the name, it actually enabled the status and turn it on. So this is a tip for you. So now I'm going to show you in real time how these methods work using my doll. So the first example you've probably seen my VST call a house. You probably downloaded it or or if you need the access to these files, you can go to the store and download the actual project and start here and edit it. But basically I have one instrument name called bathroom and then each pad is a group. So all my samples, all these samples are basically separate groups. And then I have pan and volume controls that control each group. So that's the beauty of having one instrument and multiple groups. Now I have control over each group. The next example is an instrument and one group or using a default group. So plush was the very first VST I worked on and uploaded to the store as well. I have a bass guitar, so bass guitar, got all these different instruments in here. I got piano. So that's just a basic instrument. All my samples are on all the keys under one group. And then I did montage. Montage is a combination sound. So as you can see, there's some extra features on the UI for this one. So this, the way I did this one, it's, it's called montage. So the instrument's called montage, but then I have a piano group, an EP group, a pad group, and a string group. And the beauty of this one is I have the feature of these buttons here. So I created buttons that toggle the disable um, state of each group. So if I would just turn them all off, you're gonna you won't hear anything. But if I as, as I bring them on, and if I add some EP to that. Okay, and then if I want to bring in some pad. Add some strings. All right, so you can see how the layers work and I can have individual control. I can mute them and I added some volume controls as well so I can play around with the blends. So this example is, I have the category of keys. So the instrument, I saved it as keys. 
So that's now my category. And then under it, I have different groups. So I have a piano group and an EP group. Now that the piano group is actually default, that's the first one you're going to see. So if I were to play it. All right. So then if I hit my button, now I can go to the EP. And so now that's basically how that works. So for the example, I actually had the maze file sitting in the same instruments folder as house. So if I were to click it, it's going to bring up house. So that's another little hidden trick. If you, if you didn't know that, you can drop all your maze files in the same folder and still <laughs> access them all. So guys, I hope that helped you out. I know there's a lot of confusion when you first get started, but we're all here to help you. And I appreciate you, you know, supporting the channel. Just make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you, make sure you, you know, check us out in the Discord group. I'll put the link below. Um, you can go to the store. I have products for sale and I'll give you my tutorials, whatever you, you need that get started. Just make sure you comment. Uh, I've answered so many DMs that I just felt like I, it was time to create more videos to help you guys out. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have a great day and I'll see you guys at the top. Peace.